Okay, let me show you the power of invisible helpers and what invisible helpers are. They are basically guides which are hidden and which you can activate by pressing shift. And in this case, I want to get to a specific point and the point is the red dot. So let's see how we can reach it. So in order to activate the guides, you first have to have some kind of tools. Simply create a line pressing shift A and now I can start activating the invisible helpers. With the line tool activated I go to this point and do nothing else but pressing shift and now the helpers are visible. In this case the Z axis is interesting for me and I again go to the other point and press again shift and now the Y axis, this intersection where the Y and the Z axis are intersecting is interesting. And I again press shift at this intersection and I go to here. And I press shift again at this point, which gives me this intersection where the X and Y guides are intersecting. And again, if I press shift, I have a Z guide which intersects with this one. And that's how I can reach that specific point just with the help of these guides. And now I can do whatever I want. Let's say I can create a three point rectangle which lives under the corner rectangle. And here by clicking three times, first, second, and here again, if I press shift, I get the Z axis and then I click the third time and I have this situation. And if I go to face mode, let's say I can extrude this face. If I show it like this, it looks like it's taking long, but that's not the case. Let me show you how fast you can get to this point. If you are used to using these guides here again, make a line shift A. Boom. That's how fast you can get to a specific point. That's the first example. And here is the setup for the second example. So we have two sheets and this circle. Let's start goofing around using these guides. Let's say I want a cut through this circle and the cut has to be an extension of these edges. Therefore, I again create a line, click here and start to create a line. But before dragging somewhere random, I again press shift while snapping the line to this edge. So shift. And here you can see our guide, our invisible guide appears. And here I create the first line and I do the same for this edge. Again, create a line, shift, boom. And now I can simply cut this circle with these cutters with the cut curve command. Select the first cutter, shift, select the second one. Okay. Let's also cut the bottom parts. And what if we want to create this situation? So basically two lines which are extensions of this edge and two curves which we then can use for a sweep. So let's start. Shift A. I click here. Go and snap this line to this edge without clicking but pressing shift. And now I can create this line. It doesn't matter. You can press tab and type in a specific number or you can give it a random length. Here shift D for duplicating the edge. Now let's create the second line. If you press shift A, first click, shift, create the guide. We won't be able to determine this point which should have the same length as the first one. So we have to start from the other side. So shift A, click here. Now we have this angle and if you press shift, now we have this point. And now we can click here and here. And if we press T for trim and trim this guy, we are good to go. Shift D for duplicating this edge. Now we can simply sweep, run the sweep command. Select this one, run the sweep command. Boom. One might say you could have done it easier by simply duplicating this line and snapping it to here. That's correct. But that wasn't the point of the video. The point was using these guides as much as we can. Put these guides into your arsenal, which will enhance your workflow. Peace.